Now, specular, let's drag out a constant zero. Um, we can promote that too, just in case you want spec. Roughness, let's do the same thing. But we'll set the default for that to be one. Convert to parameter, roughness, cool. Now let's also actually make this a two-sided foliage. Um, we can switch between either two-sided foliage or subsurface profile. Um, both of them work pretty well for this. Let's drag off here, do a vector parameter, and we'll call this SSS color, subsurface scattering color. Apply that. And let's see, create a material instance of that. And now that we've created an instance, let's not forget to actually set our texture to be the correct texture. Let's go emissive amount, turn all these on so that we can uh, change them. So let's say emissive amount around 0.3 I like. The rough can be 0.5, tiny bit of specular the color. Let's go with a kind of more green to start with. Let's try that. Then for the subsurface color, let's take that but change the hue slightly. Maybe darken it a little bit. Cool. Oh, I just changed the color instead. Ah, that'll do. Let's let's try that. Okay. Let's apply that to the leaves. Okay, something's going on with this texture here. Passive mask. Apply that. Um, ah, of course, this is in the wrong wrong hole. Cool. So that works. Brilliant. Now we need to change a few things about the lighting. Let's just make the, the colors a bit nicer here. So the color can be a bit darker, just a bit, or maybe less saturated. Okay, subsurface color. Let's see. Uh, I guess we should do the lighting first before changing that one, but let's just leave it like that. I've just restarted again after turning off this allow uh, sorry turning allow static lighting back on because it was breaking something that I was doing. Uh, so let's come back here, set this to movable, and we'll go to our lights and we'll also set them to movable, as well as distance field. Make sure this is on and here as well. So distance field and direct shadow and let's set this to something a bit lighter like 0.4 or something there. Okay that's looking pretty good. Let's maybe change these colors a little bit. They're quite quite bright. Uh, let's see. That's nice. The subsurface color so we can change that quite a bit there. And darken that up. Alright, cool. That's nice. And then we can always uh, duplicate this. Oops. Well, saving is nice too. And let's change these colors and see how it fares. So let's try a red maybe. Copy this hue value here. Let's just copy and paste that value and see how that goes. Put the new one over here. That looks pretty nice. So you can very easily change the colors. You can do the same to this bark over here. Let's drag this over here and change this color and see how we go. Set it to maybe a yellow, a light, light gray, 
something like that. And you can get uh, nice variations of trees really quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you'd like to grab the project files for both this, the Houdini scene and the texture, uh, you can support on Patreon, um, on Patreon as an adventurer or you can grab them off Gumroad. But otherwise uh, I hope this tutorial was easy enough to follow along and uh, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or suggestions. Cheers!